Hi, Ralph Medici, JTV at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium with the world famous Julia Child. How are you doing today, Julia? I'm doing good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Can you tell us what's going on here today? Well, we're having what's known as a culinary carnival because we have a big conference here of all the the International Association of Culinary Professionals. Those are cooking teachers, cookbook writers, editors, and so forth. We have about 1,500 people here. Wow. And we're having, you know, seminars, and I had a seminar on writing, food writing. And then we're having a big carnival tonight to raise money for scholarships and so forth. Okay, is there a certain... sold out, really. Sold out. Is there a certain dollar amount that you're looking to raise? I can't remember how much. As, mu as much as possible. As much as possible. I, have, I don't know how much it is. And how long have you been doing this, Julia? Gosh, the, the, the fundraising, but not, not cooking. I wanna, I'm going to ask you about the cooking, too, but the fundraising first. Fundraising. I think this... I think we've been going about 20 years, this, really? this association, mm -hmm. and I've been cooking since I was on the television first in 1963. Oh, really? That's a long time ago. It's quite a long time ago. Well, it's a great profession, and we all love being in it, and, and the, all the people are nice because they love what they're doing. Yeah. And then, as we say, you eat well, and that makes a lot of difference too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now, I know that you went to El Forno last evening. We did. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, we had a delicious meal. It went on and on. I never ate so much in my life, but it was delicious. We had oysters and lobster and braised beef and a great dessert. We had, had a wonderful meal. Do you have a favorite dish yourself? Well, whatever I happen to be eating right now is usually my favorite. Something that, something that's cooked by someone who knows what they're doing. Okay, you don't know a certain category: fish, chicken, beef, or uh, vegetable. Duck. Well, duck. I'm very, duck. I'm very fond of duck. Oh, How, really? You like duck? I yourself? love duck too. I do too. Peking duck, Mandarin duck. Well, well, it's fun to do because you have your the problems of of wanting the skin to be crisp and yeah. the meat to be just right and so forth. It's a delicious food, I think. Uh, definitely, I like it myself. Now, you use every part of it, too. That's good. Now, um, you also are a big influence to a lot of other people around here. How do you feel about that, Julia? Well, I was, I was the, the first one, I think. I, I started way back in 1963, and there wasn't anyone cooking on television at that point. So I just came on at the right time. Yeah. I think one is very lucky to be the first. Sure, sure. Now, did you ever work at any restaurants or anything like that? I've worked a little bit, but I'm, I'm not a chef. Uh -huh. Although our, our program is called The French Chef, I always hoped that we would get some French chefs on it. Uh -huh. But also it was short, so it fitted in TV Guide uh -huh. as a title. And it really said what we were doing because at the beginning it was all French cooking. Now, where was that show taped, Julia? It was taped in Boston at WGBH. Oh, really? At that point, that was called Educational Television. Right, okay. And so I've always been on, on public television, and I like it because you can do what you want. Well, that's what GTV is all about. This is public access television, too, and, and we thank you for your time here today. And, and we would like to support the cause also, and we would like to come here next year. Well, I hope that I hope that you will, and I hope that we'll let's see we'll be in Minneapolis next year. So, oh really? Get your public television station to support us then too. Hopefully we can. Now I asked you earlier if you saw the skit, uh, the Dan Aykroyd skit on Saturday Night Live. Oh, the one on Save the Liver. <laughs> I did indeed. <laughs> well, we we have a we have a copy of that tape. It was terribly funny. I thought. You did you, your first reaction when you saw it? I, I just rolled on the floor. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> oh really? Well, I'm glad you took it uh, in light, and and I still remember that. I still crack oh. up when I when I see it. So funny of him cutting himself you remember him bleeding to death with his finger that was very funny funny that was funny it really was <laughs>